हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड द डिप्लॉयमेंट ऑफ डीएमजी फाइल्स और एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग इनट्यून एंड इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच द वीडियो येट यू कैन फाइंड द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो इन टूडेज वीडियो our primary focus will be on deploying unmanaged macos pkg apps before we dive into the process let's explore the capabilities of these pkg apps the unmanaged macos pkg apps type is a versatile and can install various types of pkg apps this includes non flat packages with a hierarchical structures component packages unsigned packages packages without a payload packages that install app outside applications and the custom package with scripts now let's review the prerequisite to ensure a smooth installation of unmanaged pkg apps on the mac devices so the first prerequisite is device must be managed by intune the package file should not be exceed 8 gb in size we have to ensure that the microsoft intune management agent for macos is installed on the device and the version 2308.006 or later and we have to confirm that the package file successfully runs using the installer command in terminal i would like to highlight that currently only the required assignment type is supported for android devices the available assignment for android devices and uninstalled assignment types are not available at the moment for today's demonstration i will showcase the deployment process of google chrome.pkg application on mac os before we begin if you are enjoying the content please subscribe for more so to do this we have to go to the apps and within apps we have to select the mac os by platform and then we have to click on add an application and under the app type we have to go down and then we have to select mac os pkg apps and then we have to click on select and then we have to select the pkg file which we want to deploy so let me quickly download the pkg file for mac operating system so we have to click on the mac and then we have to select the stable version and and the file type is pkg universal installer x86 and then click on download click on accept and download now the pkg file is downloaded let me go back to the intune portal and click on select app package file and then select the file which is in download folder and then click on okay here we have to provide the application details let me remove the extension let me also remove the extension from the description then we have to provide the publisher name for now i am going to provide google chrome you can also select the category let me select the productivity as a category and then you can update the other informations like information url privacy url developer owners and notes and then if you want you can also update the logo for that application for now i am not going to update the logo and then click on next and here we can provide the pre install script and post install script for now i am not going to provide any pre install script or post install script i will create another video where i will demonstrate what is the use case of pre install and post install script and then we have to click on next and under the requirement we have to select the minimum operating system version let me select the mac os version 12 and then we have to click on next and in the detection rule we can see that the intune is automatically populating the application bundle id and the application version and then click on next and then we have to assign this application let me quickly select my all mac os devices and then click on select and then click on next and click on create and now we can see that the application is uploaded successfully and if we go to the properties we can also see that the application status is also showing as assigned 
and this is assigned to all mac os devices now from the mac os device let me quickly run a check status to speed up the process and now if we check the application status we can see that the google chrome is now installed and if we click on the get information we can find the detailed information about this application like the application name and the version of that application and some other informations and after some time we can see that in the intune portal device status is also showing as installed and if we click on the device install status we can find the device name on which this application is showing as installed i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video